This is Sheila Jackson Lee, the U.S. Congresswoman from Texas's 18th District. On Monday, April 8th, 2024, Ms. Jackson Lee spoke at Booker T. Washington High School in Houston to celebrate a rare occurrence, a total solar eclipse. In anticipation of this special event, her office put out a media advisory. Congresswoman Jackson Lee served as a member of the Science Committee and the ranking member on the Space and Aeronautics Subcommittee and will be ready to highlight the experience. Okay, so while on the Space and Aeronautics Subcommittee, Congresswoman Jackson Lee held special oversight on all matters relating to space, including NASA itself. So on paper, it would make sense for her to talk about the eclipse. But in reality, not so much. You have the energy of the moon at night, and sometimes you've heard the word full moon. And sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle which is made up mostly of gases. The moon is made of gases. <laughs> no, lady, everyone knows that the moon is made of cheese. The question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? Are the gases such that we could do that? Houston, we have a problem. Okay, first of all, the moon is not made up of mostly gases. It's made up of rock and metal. Second, scientists believe that it is possible to live on the moon, but the question is, do we really want to? <laughs> Probably not. The sun is a mighty powerful heat, and it's almost impossible to go near the sun. Well, technically, an astronaut could get pretty close to the sun, relatively speaking. You see, the Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun, and you can get as close as 3 million miles without burning up. If you think of that distance as a football field, you can get as close as the five yard line. The moon is more manageable. Going near the moon is not more manageable than going to the sun. It's infinitely more manageable. What you will see today will be the closest distance that the moon has ever been in the last 20 years. Uh, no. According to retired NASA astrophysicist and eclipse expert Fred Espinak, not only was the moon not the closest distance it's been to the Earth in 20 years, it's not even the closest distance to the Earth this year. Which means that's why they will shut the light down, because they will be close to the Earth. So the moon has they them pronouns. <laughs> you learn something new every day. There are uh, solar systems uh, and there are systems that are smaller than the Earth. So there are solar systems that are smaller than the planet Earth. Sure, yeah, okay. But the one impact I want you to have is how you are controlled by something outside of your human experience. We're controlled by the sun and the moon. Makes sense to me, what's your problem? Still, we're in a solar system and we depend on the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. That is our existence. That is what creates uh, the, uh, our, our desire for creativity, uh, our music. It sounds like she's moved on from science stuff, and now she's about to read everyone's horoscopes. We have yet to know whether you can live on the Moon, but I don't know about you, I want to be first in line to know how to live and to be able to survive on the Moon. That's another planet which you're going to see shortly. Now, I'm no space expert like the Congresswoman, but the moon isn't a planet because it's a moon. Imagine being a 74-year-old member of Congress and not knowing the difference between a planet and a moon. This country is run by low IQ morons. And Dr. Simmons, I didn't go too far away from the scientific explanation. Is that correct, hopefully? All right, so I was, I was near it. Technically, the sun is closer to the Earth than her scientific explanation was to reality. In fact, it wasn't even in the same universe. So what you're here for is to see the complete darkness. When I blow the whistle, we're all going out on the field to be able to experience, get your own little spot. Don't jam up on somebody else so you can see your own darkness. Don't get too close to someone or you won't be able to see the darkness. Um, maybe we'll hear some dogs barking. Uh, what, 
how they are impacted. But you will be able to tell because there'll be complete darkness. So you'll be able to hear dogs barking because it will be dark. Got it. Okay, you, you all are not serious. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're not serious. Gee, I just don't understand why these high school students won't take the science lady seriously. Get the glasses on. I'm getting ready to blow the whistle. When I blow the whistle, get out on the field. Get out on the field like you're going to find your own space, your own heaven. <laughs> you have the legitimate glasses, do you not? All right, we want to make sure that no one tries to be cute and look up without anything on their eyes. Please don't think that's a joke because you will. we will be walking you out of here and we'll be holding your arm to get you out of here because you won't be able to uh, walk yourself out. Yes, whatever you do, don't look up at the eclipse without your special glasses because you'll instantly go blind. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is very serious. Six minutes later. I can't Come on out, come on out. Anyway, after yelling at high school students to put their special glasses on, the congresswoman had some issues. Please enjoy. It's act like you can see. Democrats, the party of science. Anyway, Jackson Lee's nonsense talk about the moon being a planet mostly made of gases or something went viral on social media, and so the congresswoman took to X to defend herself. Obviously, I misspoke and meant to say the sun, but as usual, Republicans are focused on stupid things instead of stuff that really matters. What I can say though, foolish thinkers lust for stupidity. Stupid is as stupid does, lady. But let's give her the benefit of the doubt. She meant to say the sun instead of the moon. So let's do some fancy audio editing and maybe it will all make sense. The question is why or how could we as humans live on the sun? Are the gases such that we could do that? Well, that makes it worse because then she means that she was asking if human beings could live on the sun. And I don't know about you, I want to be first in line to know how to live and to be able to survive on the sun. And with that, I urge Elon Musk to make Representative Jackson Lee's dream come true and launch her directly into the sun, for humanity's sake. Anyway, that's it for now. Follow me on X at Don't Lock Run. A special thanks to Poofy for her help with the script. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. If there is next time.